Welcome back to the Lumios Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today we're going to be talking about Skeleturs, which, in my opinion, is the best of the Paldan starters. Uh, so on that note, let me know in the comments below which of the Paldan starters is your favorite, Skeleturs, Quackleval, or Meowskarata. We're talking about the final forms here. But what on earth are we talking about with Skeleturs? Well, we're talking about how Skeleturs may have a very, very interesting ancestry that might even connect it to for alligator, crocodile, or even both. Now, how do we know that Skeleturge has an interesting ancestry? Well, Skeleturge is one of the starter Pokemon of the Paldea region. Paldea is based on real world Spain and Portugal. Yet, Skeleturge actually has like no Spanish or Portuguese origins and or inspirations in its design. It actually pulls from other places. Now, what this means is that Skeleturge likely uh, descends from Pokemon from other regions, or is at least like a variant of Skeleturge, or at least comes from somewhere else. Now, in order to find out what exactly these Pokemon that Skeleturge is uh, perhaps descending from, we have to kind of look at its real world origins and piece those together. So Skeleturge pulls from a lot of places. First off, Skeleturge is likely pulling from Egypt, it's likely pulling from Mexico, and it's likely pulling from Brazil. And we'll get into each one starting with Egypt. How is Skeleturge connected to Egypt? Well, first off, it's fire ghost typing. The ghost typing specifically could be a reference to Amit, which is an Egyptian god of like chaos and it is connected to death in a lot of ways and is usually depicted as a little alligator lady. She was the villain on Moon Knight uh, in case any of you have seen that now you know what I'm talking about. Now Skeleturge being a ghost type connecting it to Amit there is a little bit more it also its fire type could imply that it comes from a hot environment and of course the Sahara Desert would definitely match that. Now, that's just, of course, one part of its ancestry. We're going to get into the other parts. So, you know, hold your fingers on that keyboard for a moment here. Uh, so, what could this Pokemon in Egypt that Skeleturge descended from look like? Well, if it is indeed an Ahmed inspired Pokemon, it might be a very powerful one at that. I imagine the ghost typing is still very much there. And then given that's the Sahara Desert, it's also very possible that it could be a ground type too, a ghost ground type Pokemon. Or it could be, because of the heat, a fire type as well. Now there is also a chance that frankly it was a water type, as Skeleturge is also inspired by a Nile crocodile. Uh, this is actually why Skeleturge is in Paldea, is because while Spain does not have crocodiles, there have been the occasional sightings of a Nile crocodile in Spain. So that's very likely what Skeleturge is pulling from, and Nile crocodiles of course live in the Nile River, which of course is in Egypt. So, if you don't believe all that, then you're just in denial. I will keep making that joke until, like, I don't know, I lose my channel for it. But, Skeleturge pulling from this Nile uh, crocodile-like species, this Omit-like species, it, it's actually super, super neat to me. This is where Skeleturge is likely pulling this ghost type in my opinion uh we are going to get into other places where its ghost type could be coming from but i do imagine that this pokemon could be a ghost type a ground type a fire type there's a chance at water but i actually am leaning that it was probably more likely in the desert and this is why Skeleturge is a land-based uh pokemon despite being an aquatic animal based off an aquatic animal rather so I'm leaning ghost ground or even ghost fire on this one, uh, more so ghost ground. And perhaps this Pokemon is somehow tied into Crocodile, but there's another Pokemon that I think is more likely tied into Crocodile, and we'll get into that. Now let's hop over to Mexico. How is Skeleturge connected to Mexico? Well, its name, uh, Skeleturge, yeah, that's coming from Skeleton, and uh, Skeletons are certainly a big part of of uh, Mexican imagery specifically when talking about Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead which is like a day kind of celebrating one's ancestors. Uh, if you've seen the movie Coco you know what I'm talking about. Tons of movie references we can make today. 
But Skelter is just likely pulling from this. He also has the a very colorful um, palette to him, which is also uh, very associated with Mexico and specifically Day of the Dead. And, of course, the skeleton aspects of his designs are also pulling that. Now, that also means the ghost type could very well be from Mexico. I'm actually imagining that this could be multiple ghost type crocodiles that have or alligators some kind of species that have kind of evolved into skeledurge and that ghost type has held true because obviously it's been a pretty dominant gene because it's got the ghost type in all of its ancestors now i'm imagining that this mexican skeledurge was likely based off of the american crocodile you may be wondering, well, uh, an American crocodile, that's not very Mexican, but it actually is because the American crocodile, it's not referring to the United States of America. It's referring to America, like as in North America, South America, Central America. The American crocodile is found in parts of the United States, as well as parts of Mexico and also parts of Central and South America, so it, it's found all over. Now, American crocodiles tend to actually be able to live in salt water, and so what I'm imagining is that this Pokemon may have been a water ghost type. I think that it probably lived in salt water, was a water ghost type, and I imagine it was also very colorful, much like Skeledurge, again, very emphasizing that Dia de los Muertos thing. So that's kind of how we can connect it to for alligator. We're seeing a saltwater crocodile, a crocodile that is based in water. Well, if you look at our crocodile-based Pokemon, we have Skeledurge, which is not based in water, Crocodile, not based in water, and for Alligator, which is based in water and also is very colorful with elements of blue, yellow, and red in its design. So this Pokemon could have been a descendant of Skeledurge, which picked up its ghost typing and carried it, and also a descendant of the Totodile line, with Totodile also pulling from that. Who knows, maybe we'll get a Legends game where we get like a water ghost for alligator, and maybe that would be the true ancestor. So it's actually a for alligator this whole time that was the ancestor to Skeletors. I, I think that's very, very possible. So now we talk about Brazil. How is Skeletors connected to Brazil? Well, Skeledurge, again, we're looking at that ghost typing. Where this could also be coming from is that Skeledurge may be partially inspired by El Coco, which is like an Iberian boogeyman. It exists in Spanish culture, Portuguese culture. It's basically just the boogeyman. And, uh, well, in Brazil, and to my knowledge, only Brazil, not even Portugal, which is, you know, the primary language of Brazil is Portuguese, but in Portugal... This is not the case, but in Brazil, El Coco is actually usually depicted as a gator. So yeah, now interestingly enough, I looked into this, it's depicted as a crocodile or gator, and crocodiles don't live in Brazil, but you know what does? A caiman, and caimans live in the Amazon and have a lot of similarities to our friend Crocodile, so perhaps... This Cayman Pokemon is an ancestor to Crocodile. Now, again, if we're looking at all of this combined, all this information combined, Caymans being from the Amazon and also likely having the ghost type to connect it to El Coco, then this Pokemon was likely another ghost water type or much more fun, in my opinion, was a ghost grass type. Perhaps it is one that maybe... Uh, isn't primarily based in the waters of whatever the Amazon River equivalent is in the Pokemon world. Maybe it was run out of there by uh, Electros or other very dangerous Pokemon. I mean, you figure the Amazon's home to many dangerous animals, so God only knows what the Pokemon world equivalent <laughs> looks like. But I'm imagining that this is a Pokemon that is primarily based in the rainforest parts of the Amazon and, you know, definitely does visit the water. Maybe even it has ability that kind of connects it to water, such as Swift Swim or Hydration or even Dry Skin. But yeah, I'm imagining that it's a grass and ghost type Pokemon that maybe over time, perhaps when brought to another region, say Unova, ended up becoming Crocodile. Who knows? It could even be that this Brazil Pokemon and this uh, 
Egyptian Pokemon that we discussed earlier could have been brought in and uh, just over time, them breeding together uh, eventually created Crocodile with it pulling from the design aspects of the Amazon one, but the uh, more ground typing and uh, more of a focus on land and a less of a focus on water from the Egyptian Pokemon. But yeah, this would basically make Skeledurge a pretty close cousin to Feraligatr and a slightly more distant but still close cousin to Crocodile. Either way, I would love to see a variant of Crocodile home day or a variant of Feraligatr or even a variant of Skeledurge that could tell us more about these Pokemon's ancestry because if you look at the real world and you look at evolution in the real world, and you compare it to the Pokemon world, it is very likely that Skeledurge, Crocodile, and Feraligatr are indeed related. So this is just a really neat way to connect them, in my opinion. But yeah, be sure to let me know what you think of this theory. Be sure to let me know, of course, which of your favorites, uh, or which of the Paldean Pokemon is your favorite, Quackwaval, Miascarada, or Skeledurge. And also, let me know which is your favorite of the Crocodile Mons. Skeledurge, for alligator or crocodile now realizing they're not all crocodiles you know for alligators and alligator uh crocodile is more like a caiman or a gharial and uh Skeledurge is truly a crocodile but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below and until next time i will see all of you later